It is uh, Sunday the 15th of May, 2015. We're in front of the uh, Unitarian Church of Montreal. And uh, we're looking at the chalk slogan that I just wrote in protest of the fact that uh, Unitarians, specifically the Unitarian Universal Association, which is the representative of 1,000 or so Unitarian Universalist congregations in the United States, to some extent Canada, and also uh, elsewhere in the world, uh, falsely accused me of the criminal act of blasphemous libel in Bill Cosby's style legal bullying that's clearly intended to intimidate me into removing blog posts that tell the truth about uh, Unitarian Universalist ministers and or Unitarian Universalist lay leaders who are in fact guilty of engaging in what Steichman, Elliott, Barristers and Solicitors litigation lawyer describes as such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. So uh, this uh, slogan here, Unitarians misuse Canada's uh, blasphemy law. We got a guy coming here. Good day. Planning on taking my photo? I'm actually filming you right now, sir. Okay, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm going to have to ask you to not do that, please. You don't have permission to do that. Are you going to publish that online? I don't need your permission, and I probably you will. You do, publish. actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a news director at Global News. I always You're the news people. director at Global News? Yeah, so I have to get people to sign uh, releases well, actually, all the time. So I've told you now that yes. you're not to put my picture online associated with this. I hear you. This. I will consult okay, my legal advisors and I'll decide what to do. If you do, I will sue you. Be my guest. They're, they're so. threatening to sue me with... No, I as, see this. I've well, heard, I know all about your campaign. You know all about... Oh, so you're I'm the... Uh, okay, hang on. Oh, whoa, 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 hang on. No, 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 no. You I'm just told me. I'm not I'm finished. Not, okay, yet. you can okay, keep going and then I'll tell you something. I know your campaign and that's fine. How, how long have you known about it? Years. Years? Okay, keep going. I'm listening. But I'm listening, Mr. News Director. But no, I'm not. The, I'm the. You just told me you're the producer news of the morning show. Sorry. So oh, that's a little bit. Thing. Well, okay. So, so, so Global News has known about my protest I for mean, years. I think we've actually done a couple of no, things. No, you haven't actually. The last three or four years. No, you haven't. I wish you had. Okay. See, that's anyway. that's that's why I'm a little bit annoyed with Global News because okay, you don't I'm, cover this. But I'm coming to tell you. Yeah, you come and tell me what. Personally. Yeah, I hear you personally. I would not give you permission to put my. I hear you. I I heard that, but you see. Okay. As you may understand, as someone who works in television, for documentary purposes and things Everybody. that are in the public, in no, 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 yes. no, 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 no. Well, <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Do you think? For Why instance, do you think we shoes, shoot feet and hands and stuff like that all the time. You know, <laughs> you shoot lots of faces, uh, and you shoot lots of stuff. Okay, you've been warned. Yeah, I've been warned exactly, and what, and you've been warned that I think global news is derelict in its duty for not reporting this important news story. I'm glad to hear you've known about it for years, sir. So this guy comes out <laughs> as I'm filming my uh, you know, slogan. You know, essentially, like, he would have just been in the background. He could have just walked into church and it wouldn't have... He just would have been someone in the background. But no, 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 he had to come up and make an issue with the fact that he was in my video only making matters. You know, worse for him, really, um, because uh, as far as I'm concerned, I actually do have every right to post the video to YouTube. And uh, the more he says I don't, the more I'm likely to do so. Good day, sir. Um, you know, the more he tries to suppress my freedom of expression, I'm more likely to ex exercise my freedom of expression. And I, I do truly believe that it is actually perfectly legal for me to post that video of him. In fact, it's even more of public interest now because it's about now. You know, he made it now an issue of what people have the right to film or not. You know, so that's an additional issue. You know, when I was filming the slogan, the issue was simply you know, I'm, I'm filming a slogan and he happens to be in the background of my photo. But he, he made an issue of me filming him. And I do believe that it's in the uh, public interest to know about, you know, what people's rights are in terms of filming and or being filmed in public. So, uh, 
Yeah, I, I, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm very certain that it's perfectly legal for me to post the video as is, unedited, complete, like everything he said. Um, and uh, it's perfectly legal. He can try suing maybe once, but I don't think he'll get very far. Uh, but what I found very interesting is this guy identifies himself as a director of Global News. Oh, and then he corrects himself and says the morning show, but then he says the same thing. Well, you know, I'm not sure the morning show is exactly the same thing, but well, unless this guy claims he's a, a journalist, essentially, and he's saying I don't have the right to uh, film him. I think he's not very well informed. He didn't identify himself by name, but uh, sure, I can uh, discover that easily enough. But, uh, you know, just a bit silly, you know, because if he had just gone into the church, I wouldn't know that he was the news director for Global News. He wouldn't have made an issue, you know, of my filming. And, you know, he would have just been in the background of my shot, and hardly anyone would have recognized him. It would have been no issue, but no, no, he had to make an issue of it. It's kind of like how Unitarian Universalists had to make an issue of my blog post about Unitarian Universalist pedophiles and rap uh, rapists by falsely accusing me of blasphemous libel in an effort to suppress it. I mean, this guy's, you know, he wants to suppress my images of him. You know, but at the same time, you know, by, by asking me not to post the video that he's in, he's also basically, you know, interfering with my video that had nothing to do with him initially. Um, but it's sort of the same thing, you know, where, where there's one level of confrontation and then, you know, some foolish person escalates the confrontation by, you know, adding another issue. In the case of the Unitarians, they escalated the whole issue of Unitarian Universalist uh, clergy abuse and cover up and denial of clergy abuse by trying to cover up clergy sex abuse by falsely accusing me of blasphemous libel. Um, and now this guy, basically there was really no issue in terms of him specifically, but he made it an issue. He made it all about him and of course uh, the right to film him uh, or not uh, with or without his permission. And so, like I told him, I, I will consult, I will remind myself, you know, what actually the law is. As I said, I'm quite sure that it's perfectly legal for me to uh, film him and put the video on YouTube within the context of documentary video that documents what's, uh, you know, documents my protests and then what happens at my protest. Um, oh dear, it looks like their thing fell down again. So they're not the, uh, I'm not the only ones having problems with the wind today. Uh, speaking of wind, yeah. Uh, in any case, uh, we will, uh, I think, end this clip. It's already gone longer. I should have kept it short. But uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of explanatory uh, monologue. Anyway, it is, uh, again, Sunday, the 15th of May. 2015, I'm in front of the uh, so-called Unitarian Church in Montreal, um, and I'm protesting a variety of Unitarian Universalist injustices, abuses, and hypocrisy. But the emphasis uh, today and uh, lately is on the ongoing cover-up and denial of very egregious clergy sex abuse committed by Unitarian Universalist ministers, Unitarian Universalist religious educators, aka Sunday school teachers and, you know, the occasional uh, lay leader. I mean, I, I generally don't concentrate on the the ordinary sex criminals, like the non-clergy, non-religious leader types. You know, I, I normally deal with uh, ministers or Sunday school teachers. Um, but, you know, the UUA just had to make an issue of uh, my uh, blog posts about... Uh, Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein's uh, first parish Norwell parishioner, uh, Richard Buell, who was convicted of uh, raping uh, preteen girls uh, who were no older than 12 years old at times that the rapes took place. 
So in that uh, the Unitarian Universal Association, I think with the uh, prodding of uh, Reverend Dr. Victoria Weinstein, uh, you know, they, they foolishly pretended that my blog posts about uh, Richard Buell constituted the criminal act of blasphemous libel. Um, you know, they made a bigger issue of it than it was. Uh, and we are definitely protesting the uh, misuse of blasphemy law to cover up and hide such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. That's it for now.